and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I'm bringing you another instalment of my fan sales haul. Um, now, I do know that this one is one of the bigger ones that they do, so I'm going to pop that to the side and we'll have the space to open that later. Um, but these other ones, while I do know what I've ordered, if I can remember, um, I'm not sure what is in each packet because I haven't looked up any codes. So I know I have a few things that are a little bit different, a little bit varied for what I've opened from fan cells before. I just can't tell you if they're in this one. So let's get into the first one. Oh, so this is one of their newer designs. This is one um, that fan cells chose to send to me rather than the design that I chose, but I'm liking it. So this is, of course, cats on a roof. It is a round. Um, it does say size 30 by 40. Okay, and it is the actual outer side, which is always what I have had from fan cells. Um, quite often sellers that do the poured glue, when they say 30 by 40, they mean the outer rim. Um, so the actual drill area is 34 and a half by about 25. So you take about five centimeters off, roughly. Um, we do have DMC numbers with this one, which is nice. It is, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get this top coat in, a little bit flatter. That works a little bit better than the other side did, didn't it? Let's try again on this side. Just helps to flatten the canvas out a little bit more by flattening that top coat. Um, but I do tend to find the poured glue canvases recover and flatten a lot quicker. Um, we have 25 colours on this one. Um, we get a basic toolkit, of which we've seen lots. And oh, this one is in baggies. I don't know if this is a new way that they're going or whether this is, you know, some paintings come with baggies and some don't. But we have, oh, they're not in order. So we have number one, number 10, number six. Okay, um, we don't have the DMC codes on the bag, but they are done by weight because there are different amounts in each bag. So that bag, of course, has a lot more. Uh, is that a 31019? Oh, no, it's not. It is 3371 instead, the other version, um, which is very dark brown. Uh, we've got some yellow, so we've got some nice bright colours in this one. More blues, greys, we've got some yellows. But quite easy to do inventory on this one by just checking if we have everything. Is that, yeah, that one's 310. So it looks like there's a, there's a little bit of trash in 310s, but the diamonds themselves look good. And then we have a blue. So that's a little bit different. I've not seen them come in bags before, rather than being in um, in like the strip bags with all the colours. We'll see if that's a change for all paintings or whether it's just hit and miss. But we've got two cats on a rooftop. That's sweet. And as I say, that one is in rounds because whether it's round or square is important in this haul without giving too much away. Okay, so next one. What have we got in this one? See, that's the thing. The label on the front doesn't give any of it away. So it's like Christmas. It's like opening more than one parcel. So let's have a look what we've got for this one. Just checking that the other one, the diamonds, did match up. Ooh. Okay, so this one is another round one. 
let me see if I can get this one to flatten as well but I did like this image now another thing fan cells did say to me when we were doing um, when, I, when we were in email conversation um, for this order is they did they do notice and they do take count of comments um, that are that are put they do look at them and read them um, and they did state that they noticed that there was a comment of images that aren't you know aren't able to be used as paintings i.e they are owned by somebody um, and they did say if there are any images that are noticed on their site that do belong to somebody else um, to let them know and they'll remove it they have no problems with removing it at all um, it's something that they're not aware of so um, if anybody does know or any artists that may see their images please just contact them um, I'm sure it's just a culture thing um, but they're more than happy to remove them okay so back to paintings this I got just because I thought it was pretty quite purely I just thought these flowers um, I thought this would make a, quite a nice gift to be fair if I ever needed a housewarming gift for anybody um, so it is just over 23 it's nearer 24 centimeters for the drill area by 24 and um, I thought I can make it fit in an Ikea 23 by 23 frame if I needed to or I could potentially look for another frame but I thought once this is done that might be something that's just nice to pop up in a in a room in your house so we have 18 colors and these do have GMT numbers and these are on the packet as well as on the canvas but here we go just to run you through the colors that are in it not a lot is that 310 yeah not a lot of 310 gotta like it uh, so we've got quite a few purples and pinks and then of course we are going to end up going into quite a few blues so we've got quite a lot of the pale blue there oh nice turquoise uh, we've got some more blues here quite a few of and quite a few whites as well but all round very nice and I'm not sure how this oh no it was in threes I just think I've okay as long as it sort of goes back into the bag a little bit easier to store and the code here so on this one it is w so it's got z w w zero three six six on the canvas it has the w zero three six six so that's how i can match them up and um, though quite often I do just put a little sticker with a brief description on it on the diamonds so that I know what it is it's just quicker to read my writing than match up numbers okay so that was number two so let's have a look at number three are we going to get one that is not round that is the question or do we have to wait till next week I'm kind of hoping we get one this week because I've got a very different one for next week. What do we have? Dum, dum, dum. Oh, we have a nice image. Oh, we do get a square one for today. Okay, so um, it's quite nice that it's square and poured glue. I did wonder if they're square would be um, the double-sided tape so I've had one question answered without having to wait till next week's video just trying to get this to flatten out it's always that last little corner that just takes a little bit longer 
But this one I'm going to name Funky Cats because I think he's pretty, or colourful cats. I think he's pretty cool. So um, we have 22 colours in this one, um, but we do not have DMC numbers. But just to show you what their square canvas is like, very clear. I've not, I don't think I've had a problem with any of their canvases yet um, in regards to symbols. I think I did have one that maybe had one tricky section, but overall, I've not had any problem with their canvases. What's sizing like? Okay, so sizing again is the same as all the others. Um, it's 25 centimeters for the drill area by about 35 and um, so you do lose about five centimeters each side we've got a basic toolkit and then we have square diamonds quite looking forward to seeing what their squares are like and looking at this picture i'm going to be testing the three tens as well so we've got some pinks green green again got some blues more greens pinks blues quite a few different blues there quite a few of them again it's done by weight this i think is 310 so this is what they class as number four. I am quite confident in saying that that is 310. Um, I'm not seeing a load of bits in the bags, which is always a good sign. There's a few diamonds that have got squashed, you know, in the gripper, but I'm not seeing a lot of rubbish. In fact, I'm not seeing any rubbish. So that's a good sign. I will of course report back once I've done this one. Um, we've got some yellow, some red, and some what looks like, is it 154 I think that number? Is it 154? I think so, it's like purple. Um, oh, and then we've got blues, reds, and some whites. So I've not tried um, fan cells squares yet I didn't know they did any on my last order um, so I have definitely made sure to pick some square ones this time um, and this is one of them I'm I'm liking the look of it so far I'm quite um, intrigued or ready to do another square on poured glue the only other square I've done on poured glue was the Diamond Art Club but to be honest I wasn't too impressed with the gapping for the money um, so it will be very interesting to see how this one turns out um, especially with a lot of 310 on poured glue so I'm excited to do a square okay and then lastly for this unboxing this is one of their larger canvases which i think they've only just started doing and um, i have not seen many as big as this on their site before so let's get the bad boy out of the way i'm just going to move storage case that I've got out the way because I think I might need the space so it did get a little bit bashed in shipping but if it's poured glue it will not be anywhere near as much of a problem it is poured glue so that little bit of bashing should flatten out wow this is confetti central are you ready my daughter picked this one I don't think she realises how... Look at that for confetti. <laughs> Who's guessing when she starts this one, she's going to be on the Facebook group saying how she has the Confetti Central painting. 
that is proper confetti but this one i can't even remember what size it was i'm hoping it tells me on the other end it does okay so this is 50 by 100 wow and if i remember rightly for a 50 by 100 the price was pretty good um i'm just gonna look it up because i'm pretty sure i have in here in my emails somewhere the order sorry bear with me okay that's telling me it's on its way here we go confirmation of order well this reminds me what i've not unboxed yet as well Ooh, some pretty ones come in um okay so this one i say 50 by 100 11.99 that is not a bad price for a monster painting, in my opinion. Um, I do think it's going to be slightly short of 100, because I do think it is going to be the same as the other canvases, but I'm going to check. So we are, we're on 94 centimetres by about 45, just short of 45. So... It is the canvas canvas size, but oh my goodness me, look at that. She's going to be dipping and changing out colours all the time. Um, it has 30 colours and we do get DMC numbers on this one. But let me zoom you in. I mean, it's confetti, but it's readable confetti. So just, it's easier to zoom you in, I think, and then try and okay so we're as far zoomed in as we can some of it has got reflective light but even when you look here we have got symbols that are clear to read on all of them ignoring the light part so where the light's not shining um that is really easy to see um we do have m and w in the tree and again, sorry, the light is shining on this one, but we do have, <laughs> we have a row here that is M, W and N. Um, now they're readable. The last one that she's been working on has had six and eights very close, but you can't really read them. Um, she's having to use the shading to differentiate between the two. So on her last experience, this experience will be better. Um, but I kind of think they should have changed up a little bit when it comes to that. But I don't know how much thought goes into the full process when printing these up. Um, so it has 30 colours. They are all letters. Some are uppercase and lowercase. But from what I can see here, it's the likes of T is an uppercase and a lowercase which of course are totally different um, we've got A which they use the A that's got the loop on the top so it again it's one that's different G is different as upper and lowercase um, they do have M in both um, down here at the bottom so we have the M that's very rigid and then we do have an M with curves, but they are two totally different colours. We'll see what it's like for her to work on and of course I will report that. But this one also comes in bags. So maybe they have some new form of production. In fact, I don't even need to get the bags out. You can see all the colours. So we do seem to have quite a lot of these few colours at the front. But then look at all those colours. She's going to have loads of choice. Um, for those, say 30 colours. And this one will probably go on a foam roller. Um, once it's flattened out a little bit. But it's got even better now. And I've not even lifted the canvas up and put it back down yet. So... Yeah, so fan cells now do big, big ones. And then just a quick recap on the others in this haul. 
So we have cats on a rooftop in a round. This is also a round. The big ones do tend to be rounds. Um, we have, get it the right way up, we have my flowers, which I think will just be a nice touch um, in a home, depending on colour scheme. And then we have my square funky cat, because I really want to try squares. Um, so that's my haul for this week. I hope that has helped you guys just to see what some of the others um, or the newer stuff looks like mixed in with the older stuff because it's pretty um, yeah let me know what you think in the comments below whether you've been happy with what you've got but for the moment I have been really happy with everything that I've got from fan cells um, otherwise I won't work with them anymore because I don't like working on projects that pain me um, but these don't so thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon